Colucci, and I'm one of the life coaches at queenbeing.com, where we help you to discover, understand, and overcome narcissism in your life. And if you need any help with narcissists around, your, around you or around your life, head over to queenbeing.com, where we have lots of information over there. Today, we are going to talk here about narcissists, lies, and deception. Before that, if you're needing coaching, there is a link in the description of every video, and there's also a link there for group coaching. So check it out if that's something that you're interested in or you need in your life. So let's go ahead and get started. Hit subscribe and we'll talk about the narcissist lies and deception. So why does a narcissist lie? Why can't they just tell the truth, right? I suppose there are a ton of reasons why a narcissist might lie. Today we're gonna talk about a few of them. I would say the number one reason is that they can't be accountable. They can't be accountable for anything. And so if you lie, you don't have to answer to anything because you're not answering to the thing you actually did and you don't have to be accountable to it. Another reason they might lie is to create an illusion that they are something that they are not. You know how when they're grooming someone, they will pretend to be like that person or they'll pretend to like the things that person likes or they'll just flat out lie about things like my ex is crazy or whatever other lie they're telling, they're doing that to lure someone new in. So that is the reason they would lie. They're trying to get something. By creating an illusion that they are something that they're not, their pretty much entire existence is fake, right? And so it's a lie in itself. The whole delusional world of a narcissist is a lie. They might be trying to make themselves look good or make themselves seem like they're better than everyone else or present themselves a certain way, but they might also be lying because they enjoy getting away with it. I mean, there's a ton of reasons that a narcissist might lie, but let's look at the lies themselves and the kind of lies they tell. There are the straight up lies. The things that don't make any sense why they're even lying about them. There's the, the types of lies that they tell that are basically them just telling you one thing when actually it's something else. You know what I'm saying? If you've ever had a narcissist lie to you, you know what I mean here, they will just come up with things that didn't actually happen or come up with events that didn't happen or try to make you, you know, it's like gaslighting, but without it being about you. So they're lying about themselves, but they're trying to gaslight you through the lies in order to get you to believe something about them and just straight up lies, whether it be something they did or something that they saw or something that they believe in or something that they claim to be. For instance, they might claim to be extremely religious, but they're actually lying because they're not. And through that lie, they're getting you to believe that there's something that they're not that might be something that you find either attractive or necessary for your life or you know a quality that you want in your life but it's all a lie. Lies by omission. This one's tricky and it happens a lot. So basically they don't tell you something or they give you pieces of information which is just enough information to get away with whatever it is they're doing and they don't tell you the whole truth. So for instance, I'm going to stop at the store on my way home. Well, what they missed is I'm going to stop at the store where my person that I'm cheating on you with works and I'm going to hang out with them for a little while and get them to give me a bunch of supply and then I'm gonna come home to you, right? So they'll lie about pieces of the information but they didn't actually lie because they did stop at the store. So this form of lying lets them get away with something without having to be accountable and it lets them get away with with it with by making you look like you are the one either too sensitive or it makes you look like you're stalking them or it makes you look like you're jealous or paranoid, you know what I'm saying? These lies by omission are really common with narcissists. Okay, now there's the half-truths. So after that, you know, lying by omission, there's also the half-truths. For instance, they only tell you the information that they think you need to know. In other words, they're determining what they want the outcome to be before they tell you the thing that they're gonna tell you, and they give you just enough information so that you believe in the half-truth as the full truth and then you make a choice or a decision or have an answer based on that half truth. An example might be where they, uh, 
An example might be they give you half truth about a situation that you need to respond to, such as an, an invite that, that you're invited to, but they only tell you the part of the information that they want the answer to be. So they might say, well, it ends really late and there's only gonna be a few people there. And you're a person that needs to get to bed early and you like being around people. So that half truth made you have an opinion about the situation and you say, never mind, I won't grow. Well, what, the, what they didn't tell you is it starts really early and the majority of the people will be there between the early hours when you would have enjoyed yourself. And the truth is, sure, it's half true. The people will be there late at night and there will only be a few of them, but they leave out the rest of the information, which is the majority of the time, it's going to have a lot of people and people are going to be having a lot of fun and, and, they could leave, and most people leave early. Does that make sense? So these half truths, they tell to get their way. And I've seen a lot of female narcissists use this and use this with their children as well to turn the table so that the other parent looks bad. They use this a lot for parent, parental alienation of the other parent. So watch out for that one. A narcissist lies by claiming superiority or expertise when they're talking about something, especially when the narcissist is a person who is in the place of authority, such as a parent or uh, a boss or something like that, or, or a coworker who is um, your, someone you report to. Uh, they will use this claims of authority, claims of expertise rather, not authority. They will use the claims of expertise to make themselves look like they're the only person that has the right answers. And they, and they assert their position as that person of authority. And so it basically boosts their ego and makes them the source that you turn to for authority. Only later, obviously, for them to then turn on you and use it against you. Future faking and promises that are never kept. If anyone has been with a narcissist, they know exactly what I'm talking about. The very nature of the relationship is future faking. They aren't planning on having living happily ever after with you. They're planning on using you until you are no longer happy supply in their life and then moving on. Well, for some of them and others stick around and keep torturing you. So the future faking and the promises, oh, we'll do that one day. Oh, it'll be so great when this happens. Everyone has dreams and hopes and fantasies and that's the problem is it makes it look like it's just a dream. Oh, I have this dream. One day we'll do this amazing thing and I'm going to take you here and we're going to do that and we'll do this together. Everybody does that a little bit, right? But the, they do it without any intent of actually following through with that thing. And so it really is a form of lying. So they might use persuasive arguments meant to lull you into feeling like everything's okay. You know what I'm saying here? They might say something like, don't worry about it, or it's not as bad as you think or like they never, or that never even really happened. So another thing they might do is claim a moral stance, such as I would never cheat, or I would never lie. I would never such and such thing when in fact they do it all the time. And pass moral judgments on other people who do the similar thing like projection, where, or they actually point out when someone is doing it to cover up the fact that they're doing it. Does that make sense? Like one example is they might say, I hate people that lie. <laughs> okay. Um, another form of lying are the false claims and the bragging. Narcissists love to do that. As I said earlier on, they often lie about who they are to make it seem like you are so similar or you have so many things in common when in fact it's all a lie. They, didn't, they don't actually like those things. In fact, it was most likely their last supply that did like those things, right? Because they like to take the, the they like to take the good things from the last person and make it seem like it's themselves. So another one that can be kind of tricky to spot is they like to normalize their behavior. Like for instance, they might say something like, "I love doing new things. I just love learning all the, all the things that I can and doing new things in life." And you know, I mean, I've worked like so many different jobs the past few years because I just love doing new things. When in fact, they've worked so many different jobs the past few years because they can't keep one because either they don't show up or they, you know, whatever reason, they're the ones get losing their jobs. But they like to normalize it by making it seem like it's something they're doing on purpose. Does that make sense? That's a, that's a common lie narcissists will do. They are famous for the gross exaggerations as well. 
And that one is kind of self-explanatory, so I'll just leave it at that. Another thing they like to do is, is to lie during the Hoover or lie when they're meeting someone or grooming new supply and talk about how hard their life used to be and what a, they were not the best person, they weren't a great person, but they've changed and they've, and they've seen the, the change in their ways. A lot of people who use religion to manipulate will do this as well by saying, I'm a changed person because of this, you know, new religion that I found. And um, in fact, they're a narcissist. Not everyone that does that is a narcissist. So I'm talking about the narcissist when they use it. Does that make sense? Like a narcissist will use anything good to prove how they're a changed person. And then they will actually not be a changed person. This is all a lie and it's false. So those are just some of the ways in which a narcissist lies. How? Has a narcissist lied to you? How's it affected you? Let me know what you think. Hit subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.